All right, which car you like? Which one you want? We're gonna drive it. We're going in this one? Yeah. All right, come on. 32 game, man, y'all know what it is. The boy CJ on 32. That's right. Best giveaway on YouTube. Best giveaway out right now for your chance to win one of my three challenges. First place picks, second place picks, and uh, third place take what's left, man. So you can get the super stocks, you can get the Hellcat, or you can get the RT on 32, man. It's your choice. Good luck to everybody. And once again, I appreciate everybody who plays. This is your boy CJ on 32. Checking out. I'm out, man. Tell them get their tickets, Melly. 32 game. What's good, man? It's your boy CJ on 32s, and I'm back with another video, man. And I know y'all wondering where your boy CJ on 32s been. I actually had, um, dang, it's windy. I actually had two. I'm gonna step over here to see if I can get out this wind. I actually had two car shows that I was supposed to win to, but y'all already know, uh, Liv was due on July 4th. But, man, she ended up having to come to the hospital early. And, uh, yeah, guys, she gave birth to our daughter. We got a beautiful daughter. Um, seven pounds, nine ounces. Uh, she did real good pushing. It was like, like about an hour and 20 minutes before the baby came out. I had my headphones on the whole time. Like, I was holding her shoulder. And, uh, yeah, it's a good feeling, man. It's, you know... I got kids already and um, I love her. Like she's super cool, she's super dope. And I know like this was just something that just, man, she just loved a baby. Like she wanted the baby. We already know we've been together. It ain't nothing new. Like when I be posting shit about us and stuff like, y'all could go back to all the pool party videos and all the times we was out, it was all, me and Liv was always together. Like she was the one always under me and then, you know, things just got a little serious and she started staying at my crib every day and shit. We just locked in from there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love her. She, she super dope, super dope. You know, like, y'all see, like, she ain't with me for nothing I got. She don't never ask for shit. She never did. That was like another winning point with me. Like, she ain't never asked for nothing. Um, and it's just a genuine love. Like, I'm an older guy, so like, I've, I've been in relationships and I've been in, you know, I've been in love twice twice before so you know when somebody really really love you and really down for you and it ain't nothing about nothing who you is or what you got so um, I like dealing with genuine people and I know a lot of people like Britney like Britney around guys like I'm just living life you know what I'm saying like if the women ain't complaining shouldn't nobody else had nothing to say about it and the most important thing is as long as the kids good shouldn't nothing else matter uh, do I want more kids? No. Do Liv want more kids? We're going to find out. We're going to ask her. So, uh, I usually don't do this, but I'm going to definitely introduce y'all to my, my baby girl. I want y'all to see, man. I, I I wish I could give y'all, like, a lot of my insight to my life shit. Because a lot of people have been watching me for a long time, guys. We finna be on that seven-year mark. That seven-year anniversary on July 5th. So, it's like... A lot of people grew up with Robert and Christopher on the channel, Zay, you know, um, and then I just stopped because first off, my kids, they don't like, they don't like YouTube no more, so no, I'm not going to force that on them, never did, never will, and then it's just, it's just always some negative shit, you know, so I mean, people can talk about me all day, but when it comes to kids and they can't defend themselves, like, that shit's sick like social media is crazy so a lot of stuff i got going on and a lot of stuff i do as far as family wise go i don't even post on social media guys like everything ain't for social media and just because somebody don't post it on social media don't mean they ain't involved or they ain't doing it like nobody got to prove a, a point to you like it's a lot of dudes out here with kids too that got a lot of kids it's just more that people speak a opinion more on you when you're a public figure but i'm doing what i gotta do and um I named her, well, we named her after my mom. So she got my mom first name and she got my grandmother uh, middle name. So her name Merlin Rose Jones. And just like, man, guys, I ain't gonna lie. Just like being there and just, ah, uh, seeing that shit, man. I, I gotta send a shout out to all the women out there, man. We, 
I, I think women so underappreciated, guys. Like, they they go through a lot, man. Holding that baby for nine months and then going through that labor, that shit crazy. Like, I haven't, I haven't been there actually just like seeing that stuff like that in a long time, you know. Uh, Brittany water broke the day she dropped me off at the airport so she was already at the hospital and I didn't even know until my flight landed and Elijah came early Elijah came six months early so Elijah gonna always be the miracle baby because Elijah was tiny and uh, he had to overcome a lot of stuff so Elijah's special to me in his own way like he survived a lot of stuff and now he, he a healthy baby so but he's super attached to her like, he's so attached to Brittany bro like it's it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, crazy. I thought my daughter was attached to her mom out there in Vegas. Man, Elijah is attached to Brittany, bro. Like, sometimes, man, I just feel like it ain't enough. It ain't enough time in the day, guys. It's like, you can't be everywhere at one time. You know, you just gotta try to try to do your best and try to make the best out of every situation. You know, and it ain't that. Like, a lot of people think, like, oh, your pullout game weak, blah, blah, blah. Listen, a lot of y'all don't know, like, my first my first kid mother, I'm going to open up to y'all this video. My first kid mother, I got four kids with her, okay? I got four kids with her. Every single kid I got with her was playing. Um, we was together over 20-something 20, 20 years, you know? Um, then I got another baby mama. I got one kid with her the baby wasn't playing like you know we messed around like two or three times she ended up getting pregnant and just kept the baby so that one wasn't playing but like along my journey a lot of stuff happened you know I was in and out of prison um, I just had a lot of a lot of stuff going on and a lot of growing up to do and so I actually met somebody else you know I got I got Melly but Melly has three more siblings so my third kid's mother, I got four kids with her too. So it's just like like I was just running around having kids with all these random uh, women. Now I got two kids because I moved to Dallas. I mean, it was fresh start. I was bound to meet somebody and, and it happened. So um, I actually got I actually got two kids that, that wasn't playing, you know, that I was messing around with. Um, my Vegas baby mama, like we messed around ever since CJ introduced me to her, but I wasn't going out there. And we, she wasn't coming to see me. It was like Seema around Seema time. Every time Seema come, I hit her up. We hang out and kick it or whatever. And uh, yeah, she ended up getting pregnant too. So you know, the, the the rest of the kids was playing. But like I said, at the end of the day, I got four with one and four with another one. So um, y'all haven't met them all. Like I haven't put them all on camera because it just never started that way. I was kind of living like a double life guys like I was in a relationship where I wasn't able to live how I'm living now and just being open with it um, one wouldn't wasn't accepting something and you know we was living together and and I just I couldn't do shit the way I wanted to do it how I wish it was you know how I wish all the kids got to meet each other and everything and now everybody older so um, you know my kids my kids grown over there at the house Robert actually met Melly. Melly and uh, Robert was there when I was just at home. But you no, know, it's just life, man. You just live, you grow, and um, shit. I'm just doing the best that I can with, with every situation. We all know I can't be in Chicago. I can't be in Dallas and Las Vegas all at the same time. So you know, um, financially, everybody's straight, but. I love my kids, guys, and they just like, they like bring the best out of me, and <laughs> Liv, she just took it to another level, man, because I know my daughters, like, one thing I got to say about my kids' mother, man, and I got to salute them, um, and I appreciate, even if y'all, I don't tell y'all, man, I appreciate the hell out of y'all, because even when I ain't around, y'all still make, y'all still make shit happen. My baby mama just texted me right now, and she got Robert and Christopher and the kids out golfing. So, you know, shout out to the shout out to the mothers out there, man. I can't do nothing but salute y'all. Like it's crazy, guys. Like it's a kiss is a beautiful thing, guys. If you got some kids, man, just 
accept that blessing because kiss is a blessing guys like it was so crazy like when she was pushing it was like a little cone head coming out and i ain't want to look but her mind was like just look because i'm holding her and she was strong like just pushing like it wasn't nothing and then i seen the little head they was like look her hair right there and i looked at her hair and then you know i stopped looking away i'm, I'm listening to my music i'm vibing i don't want to hear nothing else that's going on you know what i'm saying they talking the doctor smiling and shit um so she pushing and pushing i see the little head i said damn my baby small as hell and then you know the doctor working his finger and then all of a sudden from that pressure you know they get them cone heads from the pressure and then i just see the baby come and i'm like oh shit they just, they kind of like rough it's like they grabbing her by the head and neck and it's like man bro you better chill out and then uh shit they pulled the baby out guys and it was just it was just one of those moments man where you like just just a proud happy moment i you know i shed some tears her mom lived shed some tears and um i held her yesterday i stayed up here now they checked into their room uh, i didn't get a chance to get her car so you know the, the next couple videos because i'm going back home i'm gonna be I, i'm gonna find her a car and she won't change it so y'all know y'all some of y'all said that kia optima but she wanted the k5 and i seen a couple of 2025s around here and they don't cost that much they're like 30 like between 30 to 35 thousand so i'm just gonna i'm gonna try to get her to 25 and just get her the newer one um all the all the other kids moms got good cars so you know Liv just need a good car to get around in a paid for car where she ain't got to worry about nothing and her and my daughter can uh you know can move around sa safely you know um you know that that's what i do like i'm a provider and i, I want to thank everybody who supported me all these years because without you guys you guys help put me in a better position um to live life so that's another reason why i don't mind going out my way to help others because i got helped to where i'm at not only just my work you know it's a lot of people that that's working hard and they you know they didn't got the support you know i just got lucky enough to get the support and um i want to thank you guys and, and i appreciate you guys so much I know, I know I ain't been posting like I, I want to, but I, I just been kind of living life, man. Like, shit, I'm kind of like just burnt out. Like, I just don't want to buy the same shit and do the same shit again. Like, I want some fresh new stuff. So, you know, that, that whole 2025 load up coming, you got the Escalade. You got the Escalade, you got the new Blackwing, you got the Chargers. Uh, Y'all know that electric Escalade is a must. We got to get that. I don't care if it's extra. I'm paying extra because that got to be on site. So, you know, and it, it's something else. I, it's another car coming up. My smart car is done, but I talked to BC yesterday. And y'all know how the clips is in the hook, in the um, the grill. He had to send it back to Tierra because you couldn't take the, the, uh, the hood off the way they had it cut. So it's already buffed. It's wet sand and buff and everything. So I'm just waiting on that grill. So hopefully it's done when I go back to Illinois. It's my giveaway by the end. So if you haven't already, make sure you get your tickets for uh, the giveaway. Um, it's it's going to be a dope giveaway. And I run my shit. This is my giveaway. I'm like, I'm over 20 plus cars in. So, you know, when you wasting your time trying to tell me how to do this or I should do that. Or do it, it's simple. Like, I mean, it's in the most humblest way possible. Nobody forcing you to put your card number in and purchase tickets if you feel the type of way just don't buy no tickets like it's not gonna bother me either way just don't buy no tickets i'd rather you not buy tickets than have to deal with you mistyping how many tickets you want and then saying somebody cheated you or we don't control none of that like if, if you don't pick the right ticket you know if you don't pick the right ticket number thing you want then yeah, you gonna buy the wrong shit and it's gonna charge you, but that don't got nothing to do with us. This automatic is not in our control. Just like the drawing, man. I'm so, where the fuck is all these family members at? <laughs> That's what I wanna know. Where's these 20 some plus car family members at that I've I've gave? People say anything, bro. They, they try to take away your credibility and they just try to hate because you got something that's working for you. I don't gotta steal shit from my subscribers. I don't gotta take or steal shit from nobody. You know i do it and bless somebody and yes i gain a profit off of it i mean of course yeah but it's not like what people think oh you almost got a million subscribers so a million times this like stop doing the fucking math bro 
Just because I got a million people, that's like saying I got a million, I'm close to a million subscribers and I'm not getting a million fucking views a video. Like, just because I'm got that many people following me, don't mean everybody's purchasing a giveaway ticket. Some people don't want that shit. Some people don't care, you know? And, and some people just, you know, just don't enter. So, yeah, man, shit, if everybody enter, I'll be doing five or six cars, shit, not, not three cars. So, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do next as far as the giveaway go. I'm probably just gonna go back down to one car because it's like I'm I'm investing heavy into the three car giveaway. It's a dope concept, but it gotta be worth it at the end of the day too. You know, I'm not I'm not doing as you should be. This is just being honest, guys. I'm not doing no work for free. Somebody get on here lying, talking about, oh, I just wanna give back and give a chance. No. You, you do want it. You can give back, but you want to make money, too. So, you know, the whole goal is is to profit, man. You know, to, to, to make money, keep shit going, keep shit flowing. So you bless somebody and you making money on top of that. Because if you really want to bless somebody and you just doing some shit to bless somebody, you'll get that shit away for free. You ain't got to charge no ticket or none of that. That's the real blessing. So, you know, once I hit a million subscribers, I already said I'm giving away a car for free. I'm just going to use Raffle Creator where you're not going to have no money for entry make sure you can get a uh, one entry per person and then i'm just gonna do the drawing like that there's no way i can do a drawing no type of fairs just so many people follow me and so many people you don't know who follow you where i could do it uh where somebody could just win and i know 100 percent they did this but i'm definitely gonna when i call you it's definitely gonna be some questions behind it so you know congratulations to us 32 game we made 900k and uh i'm far from being lazy guys or or relaxed I always think about this. I'm going to tell you, like, I woke up the other day thinking, I walked to the door, and it was hot as hell outside, right? And I'm thinking, like, man, motherfuckers outside, like, working construction, really outside working in this shit. And sometimes, man, it just make, it just even humble you more, make you realize, like, how, how blessed you is to be in a position, how blessed I am to be in a position that I'm in. I don't want to say you, but me, I'm blessed in a position where... I can pretty much get up and work and do it my way anytime I want to during the day. I can go out for an hour and then I got 23 hours, you know, I could go back in the house. So, um, sometimes guys, we, we need to look at shit and humble ourselves and always think like somebody in a worse position than this or shit could be worse than what it is. So, you know, I, I try my hardest to stay humble and stay grounded, you know? Um, but anyway, congratulations to me and Liv. On our beautiful daughter, guys. I'm sitting outside the hospital right now in Texas. Yes, sir. I'm about to go in there. Y'all know I don't like the hospitals, man. I don't like the hospitals. I never liked the hospitals. I never liked to go to the hospital when I was young. And then, you know, just growing up and having to go to the hospital and be by my mom's side. It just really, it just really killed me. Like, it really just did something. So, but I, I was telling Lil Mom that, uh, yesterday, like, well, my mom was in the hospital, guys. Okay, you know, the shop right there, the credit union right there. So the hospital, a big, tall building. So no matter what, whenever I drive past, you see St. Joseph Hospital right there. And knowing my mom was in there, bro, I used to just pull up in the, um, I used to pull up in the parking garage. And I'll sit there and I'll cry for like, I ain't gonna lie, guys. I would sit there and cry sometimes like an hour, hour and a half straight by myself. Cause my brothers wasn't here. My, my oldest brother lived in Phoenix. And I don't, I think my younger brother was, I think he was in New York at the time. I don't think he had moved back to Chicago yet. And it was just like, man, I got to deal with this by myself. And I got to listen to these doctors by myself. And I got to make all these decisions by myself. I had to make the decision on her leg getting amputated. I had to make I had to make a decision for my mom for a long ass time, guys, since I was young. Like, I remember being young, walking to the hospital and seeing her and just... Yeah, it, was, it wasn't a good feeling. And I just don't like hospitals. Like, I dread coming to the hospital. If I can stay away from the hospital. I don't like hospitals and I don't like funerals. I've been to so many funerals, lost so many people in my life. Like, it's not even funny, guys. I, I lost so many people in my life. Whenever I get a call, I'm just expecting the worst. Like, it's like, fuck, man. When your family call you, it's like, who died now? So, um, after ex experiencing death for so long, for so long and so many years, like losing cousins, uncles, friends, you know, uh, my grandparents, it's like, man, you become numb to a lot of shit. And it's just like a lot of shit in your mind. You just, 
push it away. It's kind of like when my mom passed out, I couldn't. I, I wanted the memory of her, um, how I left her when I left the hospital that day. I'm never gonna forget it, guys. Like, she would not let go of my finger. I had to wait till the nurses come in and turn like her medicine up, and I had to sneak my hand away from hers. And she, every time, it was she couldn't talk. She had a breathing tube, she couldn't talk, and it's like she wanted to talk to me. And she, she would try to like get up, like she was telling me something, like don't leave. But I, but I had to get out of here, get out of there, cause I just, I ain't do shit but cry. Like that was my, that's like one of my weakest weakest points and I knew if I went to the funeral and actually seen her in the car I went to the funeral home I picked out her coffin uh, I picked out something else I don't remember I went with my auntie and uh, my first Christina my my first kids baby mama like they they was there the most like trying to get me through that shit so um, I never really mourn I never mourn my mom guys like I I just feel like if I ever just really sat down and mourn I'll I'll be in the craziest depression state ever and I know she would want me to keep going so I'm a fighter just like her she was fighting she fought like I remember three years before she passed away they was talking about let's just put her in hospice and she bounced back from that shit you know but once your body and organs like years and years of drinking and shit a lot of people always ask me CJ why you don't drink it's because man I grew up why you don't drink or smoke like I grew up around that shit bro like, I come from a game banging on my mom's side I come from a game banging you know drug and alcohol street life family so it's like, yeah, I was in the streets, I was game banging, I was selling drugs, I was around that shit. But like seeing how that shit make people act, bro, like, first off, I just never liked the smell. Like I tried it, I've never been drunk or high in my life, guys. I mean, I tried it and just, I don't know, man, it's kind of like, I'm so glad I, I chose the route that I chose and stuck to it because I was I always to see like how that shit made people act and how it made them decline. So, you know, that's, that's the reason why, guys. And, you know, like I said, at a young age, my mom used to drink. So, you know, my mom used to be an alcoholic. She, she didn't always used to be that way. Hell no. Nah. But I mean, she turned into an alcoholic. So, she, later on down the road, she, you know, she got, uh, she, be, she was a diabetic. And then, you know, that shit just, it breaks you down. And once your body starts breaking down in the inside, it ain't nothing you can do. Ain't shit doctors can do. You know, it's just, it's just a matter of time. That should just take a toll on you. And you got to think now, like, these these kids in this generation now, they starting off, bro. All these motherfuckers want to do is party, drink, and get high. Like, you not even cool if you don't do that. Like, you tell a girl you don't drink or smoke, every blue moon you'll get somebody say, oh, that, that's that's dope. But then it's like, oh, you boring, you lame. Well, bitch, I'm going to be boring and lame. You know, um, I'm trying to live, guys. I'm trying to I'm trying to live every last drop of life God got for me. So uh, couldn't no can't nobody persuade me or get me to smoke a drink. It's just preference. You do you. I'm just telling you, like, shit ain't no it's not it's not good, guys. It's not good for you. And you gonna wish you hadn't done all that heavy drinking every weekend in the club and shit at a young age. Cause it's definitely gonna take its toll on you. It's already enough shit. We gotta fight out here in this world to stay alive. I ain't finna add shit else to me, you know, that's gonna help me not live as long as I, I got a reason, I got a purpose. When you got a reason and a purpose to live, you gonna do everything you motherfucking can to live long. But anyway, I'm pretty sure y'all tired of me talking, guys. I just want to open up a little bit. Like, I'm happy, I'm blessed, man, and I'm finna go in here and uh, see my blessing, man. See what God blessed me with, another daughter, another beautiful daughter. And I'ma share this moment with y'all. And, um, you know, she's not going to be on camera a lot. You know, um, just some shit I just, I just rather keep for me, guys. And I know a lot of people can understand that and respect that. And I never did this before. But shit, I don't even know which door to go in. I know Liv probably waiting on me like, where the hell he at? He's supposed to be here. I'm here, but I'm outside. So let me see. I wanted to talk to y'all before I went in here. So we're about to go in here now. They should be leaving here tomorrow. Plus, I want to give y'all a video for the first. I ain't make the, the car meets, and I'm going to try to just, you know, if it ain't every other day, I at least don't want to miss two days. I don't even know if this is the right building. Two days of posting. Maybe, I don't know. 
I'm about to see guys I'm about to go find this room because yesterday I went in over there the uber dropped me off over here but I'm not gonna walk up the street now unless I have to but I'm gonna catch y'all in a minute man if you're new to the channel do me a favor make sure you hit that like share subscribe comment click that bell turn on all post notifications join the 32 gang and the only way the 32 gang going is up to the cold place the place I hate to be but I gotta be for at least another day y'all see the room man I don't know what happened to Liv and the baby. They disappeared when I got in here. She went over there eating junk. I done had the water. The lady gonna tell me this some Sprite, bro. This some nasty ass ginger ale. Messed the whole ice cup up. You feel me? We got some little flowers over here. We got Liv, little fuzzy head ass over here. Less than 24, it ain't even been 24 hours yet, guys, that she had the baby, but, yep. How you feeling? I feel great. I feel great. She happy. Yeah. I see that smile. Mm -hmm. What was the hardest it was part? Definitely the contractions. Contractions hurt, but mm -hmm. it was worth it. Yep, it was worth it. We ain't, we ain't gonna show y'all her yet. Y'all got a sneak peek. We're not gonna show y'all the baby yet, but yeah, it was a long process. It was a long, long process, guys. I said I had my headphones on and I was like holding her back. She was pushing. She did good. So do that epi that epidural. The epidural was everything. Yeah. When I got the epidural, I couldn't feel nothing. And I got it. But before the epidural, it was hurting. Yeah. It was <sighs> well, it's over with now, and I'm glad. Like. Only thing was, a lot of things that was running through my mind too is like, I just can't wait for this baby to come out because I know you couldn't feel it, but it's like, man, I just, I'm ready for the baby to already be here. Like, just come out of her. You was looking down there, so you seen. I seen her, I looked down there, I seen her head. I couldn't ask me if I want a mirror and I couldn't. It was so long, like, oh my God. And then it was just like, it just kept like peeking out, like, and then, yeah, because you can only push when she having contractions. So when she having a contraction, they have her push three times. And she'll do good on the first push, then the second push light, but the third push, that's when she was just giving it like her all. And uh, yeah, so you want more kids or no? Yep. <laughs> that's crazy. Congratulations to y'all. So, you know, whoever that is, what? You, <laughs> <and me? laughs> This girl trying to drive me crazy, man. I want a big family. I already got a big family. Okay, a bigger family. How about that? I thought you was done after this. Nope. You're not done? Mm -mm. That ain't hurt? It hurt, but I told you I like it. I like the pushing and everything. Like... Oh, man, now she acting crazy. She acting real different. She acting real different real. right now. It's like, I don't know. It wasn't bad. It was, but then it was like the outcome. Yeah, she wasn't even due to, to July 4th, so she actually came a little bit early, a couple days early. I'm kind of, I'm really, I'm just relieved that it's, that it's all over with. And I'm relieved that I was able to be here because I was trying to go back home so I could get my hair did for uh, the 4th of July, but I end up booking my stylist a flight out here so she's just gonna come out here and do my hair and if I would have went home because she told me if I need to leave I should leave now if I would have left I wouldn't even been here so I would have missed everything yep. I would have been sad too you would have missed it yeah. I'm already knowing but I was here so yep. that's the most important thing I made the right decision She's sleeping. She's been asleep since I've been here, guys. Yeah, she sleeps a lot. She don't really cry much. She was feisty, though. When she first came out, she was going crazy. She ain't like nothing. That's because they was being a little rough. Yeah, I told y'all they was rough. They definitely was rough. Rough. Baby you first have a baby, they just... Y'all know what my question is, guys? Like, my biggest question, okay, is... How I need somebody to explain. I ain't finna go look online and I'm I know cars. I ain't no baby expert. Know how to take care of a kid and all that, but I don't understand 
like how when a girl pushing out because y'all know they don't come right out so when they pushing out like how is the baby breathing is the baby she can't is she this that's the feeding tube so i don't even think she breathing the umbilical, the umbilical cord like i don't know guys like how do they breathe when they just stuck right there you know trying to come out down like the tube yes yeah, like everything just dashed up how is the baby breathing that's crazy i guess that's maybe that's how they can swim when they you know, i don't know guys like i, I do you know mm -mm. You, that's like a crazy it's not a crazy question it's just something crazy like how i don't understand like how is the baby breathing still because it's kind of like shit, you put a bag over your head you know what i'm saying like how how is she, she, she breathing right there yeah like especially on that part and they said they just stuck it don't just a baby just don't pop out like it's just like a heartbeat mm -hmm. and then they gotta stop and she go back and then the doctor come the, the head is nothing guys once the head come out then they just pulling out you know your look how wide your shoulders is they just pulling uh just yeah just giving that whole thing all the works mm -hmm. they pulled out by the head huh they pulled out by the head yeah they grabbed them like he, he grabbed her like right here and was just like pulling her out until he can grab and then he just I don't know man that's crazy crazy somebody know somebody know somebody know how the baby still breathe like what are they breathing through guys it's, it's kind of what I want to know like how is the baby breathing especially like I mean shit she gotta be breathing yeah, Maybe she is saying. breathing through the umbilical cord. Like I don't understand. I don't know because she when she in the what is that the she the bag the placenta mm -hmm. she, they breathing like it's liquid and water and stuff. Yeah, but you saying like when she's coming out. Yeah, her like face her like... face is smashed in there, like in between. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The birds and the bees when her face is smashed down there, trying to come out. Like her nose and face and shit is covered. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Life is amazing. But anyway, guys, is, is y'all ready to meet our princess, our daughter? Mm -hmm. She's knocked out over here. And I, like I said, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to share it with the world because I already told Liv, like, don't post it our daughter. But if y'all want to see her, y'all got to watch this video. And um, it's a blessing, guys. And she came out perfect. So, she did. Yep. Perfect. Y'all ready, gang? Meet Merlin Rose Jones. <laughs> she got that shit on already. Hold on, check her out, guys. Okay, she got the little pink on. <laughs> she got the little granddaddy hands, little wrinkle hands, self. Look at that face, though. Uh-oh. You making a face for them, huh? Ooh. Ooh. She got some hair. She got a little bit of hair on her. She got a little bit of hair on this cone head. Don't talk about her head. You man, man. She got a little bit of hair right there. Put her, put her head back on. She mad now. Now, she ain't did nothing to the cam camera got on her. She turned it red and everything. Yeah, she mad. She woke up out of sleep. She too yeah, mad. Yeah, daddy did that. You mad and all. Yeah, she mad, guys. I ain't did nothing. I think it was you. Because you want to mess with her outfit. Uh-oh. Yeah, your mama did it. I know. She unwrapped you, huh? She don't really even be going. She just. She feisty, guys. Like she real feisty. That's why she mad. She want to wrap it up. Yeah, she she want to be wrapped up. I can tell. Now you gonna have to get her some gloves. She like she like to eat on her hands. I got her some. Oh yeah, she acting right now, gang. She ain't been acting. Say hey, pops. Your grandbaby, pops. Pops with the Crocs. Pops where her Crocs at. Pops your ass is officially fired. Oh, okay, okay. Shh, 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 shh. I know, I know. She acting out 
I'll show y'all this shit. I'm gonna wrap it back up. Yeah. She don't like me at all, right? She, she's gonna fit. She's not holding. She like me. Trying to show y'all that. Trying to show out. Trying to show y'all the, the outfit and shit. Now she. She mad. She real upset. Good way to start the month of July off for you guys. Red when she get bad. Whole little face red. Like that. Bundle. Yeah. Like her mom. Bundled up. Alright, there she go. There she go. She bundled up, guys. I don't know. It's, it's no way to say who she looked like or what she looked like because no, she don't. But you can't tell right now. Like, she's just too small to tell to me. Yeah, she's a little bit. Yeah. I, I, I don't, she definitely has your nose. I don't see lives nowhere on here, though. I ain't gonna see my eyes. No. Maybe your eyebrows. Like, and my eyebrows. I don't know. Who y'all think she gonna come out looking more like? Y'all yeah, know your boy got some strong jeans right here, so we're gonna see. You do, you do, but they might just strong. Liv, cut it out. Stop the nonsense. She knocked out. She knocked. Uh oh. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. She must know that camera on, so. I think she know the camera on, guys, but we just wanted to share that little moment with y'all gang, and like I said, um, not gonna be on video a lot. Y'all probably see her again when she walking, or crawling, one of the two, first, first steps or something, because, look at Liv, curly, two-string head ass. Yeah, you wish. Hang time, baby. Yeah. Hang time. Blessing these kids with this good African here. <laughs> oh, she eating now. I knew she was home. Starving her already is crazy. It's beyond She's me. Greedy. You She's officially alive. fired. She eats a whole bunch. Oh man, another day of this, guys. Another day. Another day at the hospital. I'm hungry. I wanted the Dr. Pepper so bad, man. What they what they feed you today? Um, I had a burger. Some bullshit. Something um, they get at the school. The school meal burgers, the soybean burgers, definitely wasn't it? One of them soy burgers. It wasn't bad, it was alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And it, it's boring in the it's hospital like too. Like they be having it ice, like an ice box, bro. Yeah, but it's quiet. It's quiet at my house. Yeah. Super peaceful and quiet. So you get in the room? I'll be in my room. They start being. Uh, they don't beat me. They don't beat me. I be making them rage quit. I've actually been on the game. I, I actually been on, I ain't gonna lie, guys. I've been on the game uh, to like 7 in the morning every night. The people I be playing with can't even keep up. They be like, man, shit, I'm going to bed. I'm getting on. I be like, yeah, this my last one. Then I get a, a 50, 40 kill. Then I should be like, one more. Let me try this. And I get another 40, 50 kill. And I just stay online. But yeah, guys, we about to wrap it up in here. Um, I definitely want to drop a video for the first and just, you know, share our bundle of joy, my excitement with y'all. You know it's a lot of talking video. We didn't get action, but this is just what it was. It was just a, a video. Let y'all know where I've been, what's been going on, what's been happening. Update on the baby. Came early. We got our girl. And, mm -hmm. You know, we're just going to see where life takes us from here. You never know. You know. Life full of surprises, life full of ups and downs. 
appreciate you. you gotta take it one day at a time one day at a time yep. your ass is officially fired no, you're fired you fired you fired who fired your mama fired live okay. fired guys <sighs> but don't forget guys to get in the comment section and answer that question I'm curious. I want to know. I'm actually going to read all these comments, guys. Because I want to know. How the hell is the baby breathing? That's, that's what I want to know. Is she really like... Hmm? Huh? She was really stuck right there. I mean, yeah, yeah. She, she, she was stuck for a minute. Her head was right there. She was in there for a while, bro. I ain't even want to look. Boy, I'm going to have regrets mm -hmm. the next time I get to see that thing. <laughs> <laughs> That shit's so crazy, guys. Oh, my God. It's kind of crazy, like, if you think about it, it's like, if, if a woman can have a baby out, it's like, I don't care about that. Now, I'll just be thinking all women fake, because if y'all can push a, baby out. push a baby out, bro, nothing that can go in can... Bro, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, guys, this is crazy. We we go get off the subject right there. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, man, so I can spend the um, rest of the time with the fam right now. And, um, yeah, guys, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, man. Appreciate all the love and support. And um, I got to go. Got to check out, gang. It's your boy, CJ on 32, checking out with another video. I'm out, man.